Hello guys. Um, Viking Ale Review. Okay, this is dedicated to Terry K. Big Ole's Reviews. I'm sure you all know who he is. He's um, the guy who got me into this. If it wasn't for Terry K, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to the camera. Um, and that's it, basically. This is going to be dedicated to him because it's a beer that I've seen him review and he got really excited about. And I thought, I've got to try it. And it's... Uh, Niels Oscar's Good Lager. Not God. Good. Because there's no God in this house. Right. <laughs> Let's give you some info on it. It says, um, Our best-selling beer is an ultra-premium beer which lives up to its name. For this beer, we use darker malt from our own malt house and four different hops to add more character and flavour to the beer. In addition to this, we only use water and yeast. Good lager means good lager in Swedish, and that is exactly what you get with this divine, unpasteurized beer. Uh, Nils Oscar, uh, see if they've got a website, www.nilsoscar.se, and it's 5.3%, and I'm assuming the bloke who looks like Charlie Chaplin in the white hat is um, Nils Oscar. Anyway, really, really excited about this one. Uh, very nice classy sort of cap there you go I'm so excited I'm even going to be putting it in my posh harvesting glass there you go All right okay let's uh, sort of get about that much because I really I'm not expecting massive hits of flavours and stuff like that I'm just expecting a really nice lager um, so there you go, uh, nice and golden and clear as you expect from a lager. Sort of tiny white head. Not really much going on, there's a little bit of carbonation, not tons. Um, it just looks like a really nice lager, so let's get the nose on it. It smells like a, like a pretty decent lager. Uh, you're getting a nice sort of um, pilsnery, wheaty hops. Getting a bit of white pepper on that as well, um, which is usually a good sign when you when I when I snort it in a lager. A little, a very slight breadiness, not sweet at all, just a nice sort of bit bitter breadiness. Apologies for my breathing. Um, I really like to sort of sniff it up, and it probably sounds like I've got asthma or something, but I haven't. Yeah, it smells like a really nice lager, so let's get the rest in there and get tasting. Terry, cheers, mate. Cheers to all the guys out there watching. Let's get a bit go. Oh, bloody hell, that is smooth. All that, mmm. Now that is a, sorry I nearly swore there, that is a really really good lager. It's um, it's not, you know, it hasn't got anything like, um, in regards to lager, I do like craft lagers like the Shehalian um, from Harveston, which has got the, um, I'm sure they add Cascade or something to it, but it gives it a bit of a, oh actually no, Kieran told me it's another hop, I've forgotten now. But anyway, it gives it a bit of that grapefruity edge. But, um, Sometimes you just want a really nice lager, which is which tastes like a lager, and um, and this is it. It's got it's really pure. That's all I can describe it as. Let's um, try and give you some taste notes. Um, about mid-level carbonation, mid to high, um, you're getting this sort of lager bitterness. Um, it starts off quite mellow, and then it sort of increases and increases, and then just when you know it gets to a level where 
anything beyond that would be a bit, I don't know, it'd probably put you off a bit, but <clears throat> it almost reaches like a crescendo and then it sort of just sort of stops and then it just turns into this lovely sort of pure aftertaste. Um, that is a really, really nice tasting lager. Really nice. That is gorgeous. That is really, really pure. Really nice flavours. But it comes in a piddly little bottle. What is that all about? Um, yeah, this is something I'm definitely going to order this again because this is something I want to give to Lou to try because I really want to get her off the cause light and all that sort of crap. I think this was only about £1.60 or £1.70 a bottle. But it's really, really good lager. It's really nice. Um, this will appeal to everyone. And it will also give them a taste of how a lager should taste. Um, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. That's going to get um, a 9 out of 10. It has to get a 9 out of 10. Because in regards to... If I was to rate this as a premium lager, it's the best premium lager I've tasted. If I was to rate it as a craft lager... Um, it's good, but it's not as good as a Shehalion because I do like my citrusy hops in my lager. But, oh man, it's so nice. It is really, really good. It's just a shame it's such a small bottle. Good stuff. I can see why you went a bit mental over this, Terry. Mmm, actually. <clears throat> there is a bit of fruitiness in it. Now that I've um, been a bit of a pig and just swallowed the whole lot, there is definitely a bit of fruitiness in it. Right sort of bordering on the edge. You're getting um, a nice, almost like a lemony, citrusy note. But that is really, really good. Um, I'm well happy with that. A bit gutted that it was only a small bottle. I could I could have done with a couple of them, but anyway, thanks very much for watching the Urban Viking Hour review, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.